One of the things that, that I feel we've missed in, um, in our studies of the pyramid is actually looking at it as if it was a pile of rock. We need to sometimes back off and say, wow. Unfortunately, many people save half their life to visit the structure. They go and they spend one hour or two hours walking around the plaza, the Giza Plateau Plaza, and then they hop on a bus and go get something cold to drink because it's hot. What they fail to realize is there are nine pyramids on the Giza Plateau. The Great Pyramid itself is 756 feet approximately on each of four sides. It's a, it covers a 13-acre base. A person could go every day for a week and explore one pyramid fully and not be complete. How people can go for a couple of hours, I don't know. We were enabled to go and spend seven months uh, with mechanical states that we were actually able to do there and take away. But what we looked at from a, a very common sense approach is, which is the only way I could do it. The structure itself is 481 feet tall, documented 481 feet. Some people say 483 with the facade that was once on it. 481 feet, and we've known that since the 1800s. Documented since the 1880s is 201 layers of rock that make up that 481 feet. 481 feet divided by 201 layers of rock means the average layer of rock of the Great Pyramid is 2.4 feet. It's only 2.4 feet. A 2.4 foot cube of locally quarried lime rock, which is what the structure is made of primarily, only weighs 1,600 pounds. We, we have a lot of mystic beliefs in large stones and things of this nature, but you can research it online. The structure is 481 feet tall. And by way of Sir William Petrie's studies in the 1800s, we know there's 201 layers of rock. Do the math. It's not that complicated. The problem we run into is the bottom two layers of rock appear to be much larger. In fact, the bottom layer is five foot, five foot plus. The second layer of rock is somewhat smaller. The difficulty is as we stand at the bottom and we have two five-foot stones, it's 10-foot tall, and then we see stones cascading off into the distance, seemingly as far away as the moon. And we have the illusion, visually, that they're all as big as the one we're standing next to. When in truth, if the bottom two tiers constitute 10 foot of 481 feet, thereafter the average stone from there up is about 20 to 26 inches in thickness. Nothing more. There is one particular layer that is abnormally large at a level that's far higher than we could expect it. And we explain that in the book. Actually, volume two of the book series, which um, often I give away for free, explains how that layer got up there.